Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira roadmap tutorial, we are going to learn about the dependencies and how you can manage dependencies within Jira roadmap among the epics or any issues within Jira. So dependency management is very important and it gives you a better perspective in terms of when a particular issue is finishing and whether that particular issue is dependent on some other issue or the other issue is basically dependent on on this particular issue so when we have this visual representation or visual outlook of the dependencies among the issues in the project it gives a better picture on how you are going to manage your work within the project so let's quickly go ahead and understand how you can do the dependency management so these were the two epics that I have added in previous tutorial so let me quickly add few more so that it's easier for us to understand about the dependency management so i have added the online classes uh, say for example this is another uh, feature high level feature or epic that needs to be added the community and we need to take payments from the students as well right so say for example these are some of the features that need to be developed as part of the online training website okay so now in order to manage dependencies within jira roadmap which is the basic version uh, you will have certain limitations in the basic and the pro version of the Jira roadmap. So in the basic, I'll explain you what all options will be available and how you can manage dependencies. So if you say, for example, now these two are already scheduled and planned, right? So that's why you see these lines here, uh, the timeline on the chart here, on the board here. But the other ones, they haven't been scheduled, right? So in order to schedule those, I'll simply select one of that and you just need to add a start date okay so just say for example i'll add a start date for this issue as 6th of october and then just save it and you will see that the issue has been scheduled and because i haven't selected any due date it is not showing any due date right similarly for the community so i can simply you know if you just hover over the line there as well it will show you the display basically on the time Timeline. If you just click, then it will create that particular or auto populate the timeline. So usually it takes like 30 days and then you can extend this forward and backward. So similarly for this one. Now let's get ahead with the dependency. So in the dependency management, you need to understand two key things incoming dependency and outgoing dependency. So when we say incoming dependency, it is basically when the issue is blocked by some other issue and outgoing dependency when a particular issue blocks the other issue, right? Say for example, this portal registration needs to finish before course catalog can start, right? So in this case, portal registration is blocking the course catalog. So to create that dependency, we'll simply hover over this particular epic and just drag and drop from the portal registration to the course catalog. Okay, and you have to hover over at the outgoing part of that issue, whichever is blocking. So at the end of the timeline of the portal registration. So if I go and see the details, you will see that portal registration is blocking course catalog, right? So this dependency is the outgoing dependency for the portal registration, right? So because portal registration is blocking course catalog. And if you talk about course catalog in the course catalog, this is the incoming or is blocked by and course catalog is blocked by. So one issue blocks and other is blocked by, right? So these two incoming and outgoing dependency. So outgoing for the portal registration is the outgoing. This is the out, outgoing dependency and course catalog. This is the incoming dependency, right? As the arrow clearly shows. So if say, for example, now let me put some end date to this online classes as well. So now I just drag and drop and you'll see that wherever I dropped the auto populated date has been updated. Okay. And uh, I can save the detail as well. So let me save it. And now for this one, say for example, online classes is being blocked by course catalog. Okay. So I'll simply drag the incoming dependency for the online classes and drop at the outgoing right so now we know that course catalog is blocking the online classes and now you will see that you'll you are getting clear picture right so you get the clear picture that when you see the dependency that dates are overlapping and you have to rearrange your plan so that 
these dependencies are managed properly. So what you will do is as part of the planning, you will make sure that you give certain buffer once the issue is being finished, then the other dependent issue starts, right? Similarly, we will move this to the other side. Okay. And now you will see that the alert or warning basically goes away, right? So this is how we are going to plan or manage the dependencies among the epic level. And this is Jira basic roadmap in the advanced roadmap. We will understand a lot more detail. So this is how you will manage dependencies on the Jira roadmap within the epics. Okay. So this is epic to epic dependency high level. Now there will be, or there might be requirement that you need to manage the dependency among the issues as well. Right? So these, these are some of the stories within the epic, right? So these stories could be dependent on each other. Now in the Jira basic roadmap, what you can do is to manage dependencies among these, I'll simply highlight a particular issue. So for example, this number seven issue is blocking number eight. So we'll highlight and then you will see at, let me minimize it and we'll go to the more fields or you, you'll see, simply click on this link issue, right? Icon and click on the link issue. And here you will see that this particular, say for example, seven is blocking eight. So you can say seven because we are on the seven blocks, which issue we just search for the issue that this seven issue blocks, right? So we'll search for RBCM and search for eight and link this. So this dependency is being managed among these issues. So whenever somebody is looking at a particular issue, they know that there is an issue that needs to be done. So this needs to be completed before eight can start, right? So this is how you will manage dependencies among the issues. And this is general, this is common across the Jira and uh, it will be basically done in any sort of project. This is how you manage the dependency or link the issues. You link the issues and then you manage the incoming and outgoing dependency accordingly among the issues. But at the epic level, it is pretty easy to manage the dependency. You just have to basically drag and drop the incoming and outgoing dependency the way you want to. So now say for example, there is a dependency from more than one issues are dependent, right? So you can also do that, right? So say for example, these two issues can only start when course catalog can finish, right? So I can have the dependency for both the issues defined. Okay. So I can then arrange accordingly. So now I know these two issues are being dependent or these two epics are dependent on the course catalog to be finished. Only then these two can start. Okay. So this is, uh, this is the way basically how you'll go ahead and keep doing it and refining your plan and making sure that your plan or roadmap is up to date and the timelines are aligned and ensure that the dependencies are not doing sort of or there is no sort of a overlap and making sure that your work will progress as planned and finish as per the plan that you are defining here. So it becomes pretty easy when you define dependencies to manage the work and see when a particular work needs to finish and when can other piece of work can start. So that's all about the dependency management in Jira roadmap is the basic version. I'll cover more about dependency management in the Jira Pro version or Jira Roadmap Pro version. Thank you very much for watching.